सो ही गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ वेब स्टाइल ऑफ टाइपोग्राफी एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग आफ्टर इफेक्ट गाइस इट्स रियली सिंपल एंड बेस्ट ट्यूटोरियल फॉर बिगिनर्स सो गाइस नाउ आई टीच यू हाउ आई क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ ब्यूटीफुल इफेक्ट सो स्टॉप एंड गाइस गो टू ऑन हियर क्रिएट न्यू न्यू प्रोजेक्ट एंड गाइस न्यू कंपोजिशन चेक गाइस सी दैट्स माय प्रीसेट सो फर्स्ट प्रीसेट्स गाइस यूज फुल एचडी डिफरेंट एस डी टी वी वन जीरो एट जीरो एंड ड्यूरेशन फिफ्टीन सेकेंड इज गुड फॉर मी एंड प्रेस ओके या एंड नाउ गाइस नेक्स्ट वन गो टू ऑन हियर दैट्स माय न्यू कंपोजिशन चेक एंड सी गाइस दैट्स माय ब्रेथ साइज वन नाइन टू जीरो एंड हाइट दिस टाइप आई लाइक थ्री हंड्रेड पिक्सल राइट ब्रेथ साइज वन नाइन टू जीरो एंड हाइट थ्री हंड्रेड पिक्सल्स एंड प्रेस ओके या दैट्स फॉर माई टैक्स and guys type your letter like a after and effects guys i take motion yeah and guys alignment check yeah right okay so now guys you can change this text so guys select your this one text and fill select this one so click on here and guys fill check yeah and select this motion and guys fill check right see guys that's my fill effect and that's my only lines so now guys go to on up like this yeah and next one guys duplicate this layer duplicate text so press control d and go to down like this yeah and guys change text like a After effect is good, so delete this motion. Yes, right. And guys, I take this time here line select and guys apply this time white material, white color, and select this one. And guys, I change color like a uh, guys this time yellow color is good for me. Yes, so press OK. Yeah. and guys select this one and hide lines yes select and hide lines yes see guys that's my simple typography text effect right and now guys next one i apply this time some shape effect so go to on here and i take star tool and guys this time select and holding shift key create shape like this and guys now go to on here and polish star check guys point i like three yes and guys see that's my stroke stroke i like white color white and press okay and fill i like red so guys alignment select this one and shape and guys go to on here alignment check yeah and guys little bit down yeah great okay so guys select this one and rotate so guys center pivot so center pivot control alt and press home button yeah and rotate so rotate 90 like this yeah great and now guys duplicate this shape so guys press control d and go to on here like this and guys again select both and duplicate so guys go to on here like this and lastly guys select this one and duplicate and guys little bit increase spacing yes see guys that's my simple shape and then lastly guys this time go to on again here and rectangle tool and create shape like this yeah and guys stroke and check guys stroke check none and fill i like white color yes see guys that's my final shape effect that's my simple effect and now guys this time go to on here that's my layer and layer all precom select and right click go to on precomposition and like a shape shape check yes and guys now i quit animation moving animation so go to on effect and presets and type offset select this offset and apply to on shape yes 
and see guys the ads mesh center shift center check and guys go to on last and guys see the ads my number so guys number two double eight zero enter yeah and play yes see guys the ads my simple moving animation right okay so now guys stop all is good so go to on here that's my main com so go to on project guys select this one com two this one and drag and drop on com one that's my main composition and now guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my simple effect so stop and guys now i change scale size so press s letter and scale size half like a 50 enter yes and go to back and play yeah okay so guys all is good now guys go to back and this time guys i apply cc repe tile select and apply to com actually now guys i take this time adjustment clear yeah and guys apply this time tile on adjustment clear and see guys that's my all number i like 800 800 and 800 and lastly 800 yes right okay so guys go to and preview preview check yeah that's it that's my beautiful effect okay so then guys now i change this time wave effect so guys go to on effect and preset and type wave select this wave wrap apply to adjustment clear yes and see guys that's my height i like randomly like a hundred and guys breadth size are like 200 yes and guys see that's my direction like a 45 yeah and number of speed this one i like 0 0.4 is good yes and guys now go to back and play so preview check yeah see guys that's really good right okay so guys now you can also change this wave type see guys that's my different different style of waves back so I like circle, circle like this, yeah, much better. See guys, that's my, like a cloth and wave effect. And guys, go to back and preview check. Yes, much better, right? It's really good. Okay, so guys, now I apply this time lighting, creative lighting, so stop. And I take one more time, adjustment clear for lighting. So guys, go to an effect and presets. And guys, I like CC Spotlight. Select the Spotlight. Apply to Adjustment Layer 2. Yeah. And guys, I change Reset. See, see guys, that's my From. So From, go to on here like this. And guys, to go to on here. Yes. Okay, so guys, now I increase Light, Height, and Cone. Guys, Height, Change. Change like a 1 is good height i like one and cone angle increase this one that's my cone angle like a 30 is good for me and guys softness increase and see guys that's my intensity increase like a 200 full yeah see guys that's my cinematic lighting and guys you can change lighting position like this yeah and guys see that's my softness change like this guys like a 75 is good yeah okay see guys that's my cinematic lighting right and next one guys i apply glow effect so guys type glow select glow adjustment layer 2 and guys threshold like a 80 and guys radius like a 50 and guys intensity 0.5 is good yes much better right okay so guys again go to on defect and preset and type exposure select exposure apply and exposure amount i like one yeah for more lighting and lastly guys i apply curve tool so curve select your curve tool and apply and go to down for more bright color yes much better see guys that's my final work it's looking really good right okay so lastly guys you can apply also 
drop shadow effect on text so stop so go to on here and guys shape and guys see that's my effect preset and type drop shadow apply to on adjustment this one after effect motion text and guys color i like white and guys see that's my distance i like 10 is good yes see guys that's my shadow right and same adjustment layer and drop shadow apply to on this one text and distance then and white color yes see guys that's my drop shadow effect right it's really good and guys go to our main com yeah much better see guys that's my creative effect and guys go to back and play yes much better okay so guys that's it that's my creative typography effect is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you